Welcome on hands on session. First, uh, I introduced uh, Dr. So. Uh, Dr. So is a uh, uh, prop uh, gr graduated at Seoul National University and then professor of Seoul National University Hospital. Uh, he is a uh, uh, pathologist. He is the president of a cardiac pathology study group on Korean Society of Cardiology, and he was the general. Director uh, General of Korean Society of Pathology. Actually, he is my mentor from 20 years ago. Uh, in Korea, fortunately, we have a study group with the uh, heart specimen from 20 years ago. When I was uh, young, when I start as a uh, practice as a surgeon, I also start every year with uh, these specimens. Actually, uh, these specimens, specimens are our treasure. Dr. So collected the specimen and prepared for his life. Thank you again, Dr. So, and please start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you again for joining this session. Uh, we will start with uh, uh, showing a few tips of uh, examining this heart specimen. First of all, you, you have this uh, booklet in your office, uh, in, in your desk, and you can take one for each people and write your name to ta and take I that sheet throughout your course and take a uh, write of some memo on it uh, so that you can memorize it. Uh, the first page explains the, the uh, summary of the course, and then you will see uh, number and diagnosis and a snap fi picture and QR code. If you scan QR code, you can uh, uh, access to uh, YouTube to explaining this same heart. Uh, uh, unfortunately, currently it's in Korean, but you, you will still see the images of this specimen uh, through this QR code. And then, uh, so we have uh, eight groups of specimen. We we uh, decided to fix those specimen and peop uh, living people can move, <laughs> so <laughs> because specimen can't move. Uh, so you you look around the t different tables so so that uh, considering we have uh, s only three hours to review eight group of specimen, either take only fifteen minutes for each group. So. You don't have to finish every specimen, but you can see this uh, briefly, and then you, you can remind uh, through this uh, YouTube uh, uh, QR code. And there, uh, the group is a VSD and ASD, and the second group is uh, uh, AVSD, TOF, DORV, TGA, corrected TGA, pulmonary artery joint septum, and Epstein's anomaly, and hyperplastic left uh, syndrome, and others. So uh, you have a, a basic and complex heart. And in addition, we have uh, one normal heart in each table in a in, in different uh, cage. So you can see the normal heart. And the last page of this, uh, this booklet shows that uh, video with English recording. So this uh, product is uh, uh, explained by several different people, but you can uh, see uh, the the several specimen in single video in English, so you can uh, review this uh, video. So uh, the we have uh, uh, eight group leaders, and uh, it, it doesn't really matter who is group leader or not, but you, you will find senior surgeon among you, and you can look at what he saw what to see, and so it's good to follow him s when he go and follow him and so on. So, and he will uh, explain you the what we can see through this specimen. Or, or, and also, I invite those senior surgeons to come here to explain to public to this uh, through this video. So when they explain this heart through video presentation, you may look at the screen, but you don't, you, you don't have to do. You can see your specimen and also hearing his explanation. And so I'll start with these two specimen. This is a uh, no, uh, looks normal heart, 20 years old man. And uh, it, it has a uh, non 
cardiac history. But as you, you may see, this is right ventricle open uh, from the, the right ventricle. This tricuspid valve, this anterior my, uh, uh, septal leaflet of tricuspid valve and anterior tricuspid valve. And this is uh, uh, some scars in here. And uh, if you look at the other s uh, side of the free wall of the right ventricle, we can see also a scar in here. There was a s VSD in the past, and uh, the uh, left to right shunt produced this scar on the other side, and this is closed spontaneously. So if you look at from the other side, we can see the, the common commonest location of VSD, which is uh, in between right coronary and non-coronary cause of so so-called membrane septum, which is looked low open from the left side, but it is completely sealed off by uh, scarring uh, and inflammatory, uh, post-inflammatory scarring. And also we can see a uh, prolapse of uh, right coronary cause and thickening of uh, cusp here. So uh, this is an example of how uh, the best uh, surgeon can produce <laughs> this kind of uh, very uh, small scar and, and with completely normal life, uh, he, he could enjoy, uh, but he, he died of in the course other than cardiac disease. The other specimen is to show the uh, fetal whole abdominal thoracic abdominal uh, organ so that we can realize the, the, re the heart uh, relation of the heart to the rest of the body. So in this small baby, we have a left lung and right lung and heart in the anterior mediastinum. And this is aorta in this case, and this is right atrium. And pulmonary artery, uh, pulmonary artery is absent in here. And liver is abnormal shaped because this case was a uh, isomerism case case, and also there are abdominal organ. And in the back of the heart, we can see descending aorta, and this is a zygous vein. Uh, in fact, the inferior cavity vein is continuous with the uh, a zygous vein uh, with interruption of the. Se uh, segment between inferior cable vein to hepatic vein. So there is an interruption of IVC and IGIGOS continuation uh, and here. And also interestingly we can see a big branch uh, from aorta supplying the lung uh, on here and on the right uh, le le left side here. So it's a uh, um, systemic pulmonary collateral artery uh, because this patient has the uh, uh, pulmonary atresia and th there is no ductus, so uh, s systemic pulmonary collateral, at uh, collateral supplies this uh, left and right lung in this case. Uh, again, if you can see, there is a pulmonary artery, uh, the there is an absence of uh, uh, main pulmonary trunk, but left and right pulmonary artery is here, but there is no ductus communicating this aorta to pulmonary artery, and so that uh, the collateral artery should be uh, uh, required to supply uh, uh, left and right lung. So this is an example how I can do it, but I'm asking group leaders to do it as I do here <laughs> whenever you think it's necessary. So please uh, th uh, think what specimen I, will I, will I have expertise and please uh, continue doing like this. Uh, and from now on, until about 20 minutes, it's free time for you to uh, examine. But tip is to just follow who is the leader. <laughs> so thank you very much. And, and, and I'd like to say, ask you to say good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mali. I'm a pathologist from Thailand. If I can help, I would be glad. Thank you. <laughs>
Ah, Shiva. Kumar. Okay. Good.